Palace, you played a lot of minutes tonight. It would have been easy to run out of gas, but you had some big buckets, big free throws down the stretch. Mm -hmm. How did you kind of keep going and, and stay afloat down the stretch? Um, I just thought, you know, if I went hard for um, for a good amount of time, you know, I would either get subbed out um, or my teammates would have my back. So I was just trying to play as hard as I could for um, the time I was in the game. And then, Lindsay, you've had your share of shooting struggles in the non-conference yeah. season. Um, you always say you just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Is there ever a time in your career when you, like, have kind of run into a brick wall of, like, man, how do I keep shooting? Or is it just always just the same mantra over and over no, for you? always the same mantra. Like, you have to have a short memory. You miss a, you miss a shot, you got to come back down and know that you're going to make the next shot. And my teammates and my coaches do a great job of telling me to keep shooting the ball, keep being aggressive. So it's pretty easy to have a short memory when you got all that support. And then defensively for both of you guys, they were kind of all over the – they were hitting a lot of threes in the first half, mm -hmm. uh, and then you guys really came out and extended, it seemed like to me, a lot harder in the second half. Was that a conscious choice at halftime? Did Coach go in and tell you guys we need to stop, stop them from getting these open threes? Yeah, you know, we were in this um, extended zone, so it was more about trying to force them to take quick shots and trying to, um, tr trying to crowd them on their shots so they don't get off as easy as a shot. Because in the first half, we kind of we didn't expect them to shoot as much. We, we expected them to, um, to get inside, to get the ball inside more. So. Yeah, that was that was kind of our focus second half. And then when you guys just look at this win combined with that kind of blowout against Illinois, sort of turning things around a little bit after you had those a uh, couple tough losses right before that, how important is this win for you just for what it means to go back to your home court and beat a top 15 team? I mean, it's really important. I think it helps our confidence going into our next games in the Big Ten. And I think just for us to keep getting better each day. I agree. Huge momentum builder. Yeah. Palace for you, it not as efficient in the first half as probably you would like to be, but how much did Abby Wolf pick up your game in, in this entire game for her to log big minutes like she did? Yeah, Wolf is such a spark off the bench. She's very efficient. She plays very big and strong and aggressive. It's just really good to um, see her energy on the court. It really just um, is very contagious for me. And was there any part of the game where Kali, who's going off offensively, that, that stifled you guys? And if so, where and if not, how did you guys weather through her performance? Is that number zero? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I mean we came into timeouts in halftime and said we're just gonna keep playing defense, get stops, and keep being aggressive in the second half. Lindsay, you really stepped up today. You put up 18 points, and could you just kind of talk about you being a leader on the court and how this game really affects you being a leader going forward? Um, I think just just talking to my teammates, um, just being there, being aggressive, trying to set an example on the court, and just be, being able to communicate with them is just a big piece of um, being a leader on the court.